hey cuties how are you and welcome back to my channel today i have a surprise for y'all i am doing my first collaboration with a good youtube buddy of mine tommy from pick you color nail channel so be sure after watching this video to head on down to the description box find the link to her video so you guys can see exactly what she came up with we're doing a glow theme set of nails today i already pre-buffed and shaped those um full cover tips that i got from a cart and i tried something new this time i'm gonna put some prep primer and base coat on it pop that into the lamp and my intention is to use these stickers that you guys saw in my last nail mail video um I'm also gonna use some of these butterflies that y'all saw a long time ago. But in that tacky um, layer from the base coat, I'm just gonna go straight in with the butterflies so I can start creating the design for these press on nails. So y'all already know, I'm a beginner, I'm learning. And doing this process, I kinda learned some things as well. Um, this whole put in the glitter on the tacky layer thing, when you're working with Builder Gel, it, it just doesn't work. Like the glitter be moving around and coming off on a brush and stuff like that. So next time what I'm going to do is before curing that um, base coat, I'm gonna add the glitter to it and allow the glitters to cure into it. I'm just using these um, foil pieces that I have from a long time ago that you guys saw me get in one of my very first nail mail videos. But yes, Tomi and I are gonna be doing butterfly themed glow in the dark nails. This gel right here is a custom color mix that um, I created when I was just playing around mixing gels and gel polishes and pigment powders into Builder Gel. And I'm gonna be using my red iguana gel brush to create this design. So for these two fingers, the middle and the ring finger, I'm gonna just be doing a straight nude nail. And on top of that is where I'm gonna add those butterfly stickers that you guys will see later on in the video. So please stick around so y'all can see exactly how I did that. And a issue that I had while doing this, I'm just so mad about it, but I'll do my best to try to explain to y'all what happened so again this is a collaboration between myself and Tomi from pick you color nail channel be sure to head over to her channel and see what she created with her set i love her nail designs she is such a sweet person and she does some really bomb beautiful bougie on a budget press on nails and i believe her videos also air every Tuesday as well. So make sure y'all check that out, okay? Okay guys, so back in the past, somebody told me about putting this um, for the saran wrap on these nails to keep the glitters from moving. And that little face y'all saw is exactly how my face was looking when I took this plastic off and started applying this gel. Like I was absolutely annoyed because it didn't work. Then it dawned on me, girl, you were supposed to apply the glitter to the wet base coat and then put the saran wrap on it and cure it. So I will try that next time and see how it works. Y'all gonna see in a minute, like one of these little glitter pieces came off on a brush. One of my butterflies moved. So I wasn't annoyed at the, the foil, not the foil, the saran wrap and actually doing that process. I was more annoyed at myself because I didn't remember. You know, I have my moments too, so. Yes, I'm just gonna go ahead and add, I believe I added three layers of this nude um, gel to get the color consistency I wanted. But what I was going for was pretty much an ombre look with my my glow nails. Um, did it work out? I think it worked out to me. At least y'all see them glitters moving. I think it worked out. I mean, you can ombre almost anything, but I kind of was like, maybe I should have did the, the glow colors first and then did the nude on top, but you live and you learn and that's life. So moving on to my second coat and I believe I did a third coat off camera. So I'm just gonna let y'all watch and I will be back in a minute. Thank you. 
So y'all see, I'm just applying just pretty much thin layers until I can get to the color consistency that I wanted because you know, when you add extra layers to the top as press-ons, it's kind of hard to get these nails back on even though you fitted them to yourself. So these are the glow colors that I'm mixing. I'm just doing random colors um, on each nail and I basically like try to ombre it and later on you'll see me kind of like go back over with that um, nude color again so that way there isn't a stark difference or demarcation to where I ombre the colors but these um, gel mixtures I mix those from um, glow in the dark powders that I got on Amazon and it will be in the description link for you guys but I just wanted different colors on here I didn't want it to be one specific you know glow in the dark color I wanted to basically just test out the colors that I made to see you know how well they would get charged up and glow so yeah I just thought this was really cute because the colors also kind of reminds me of the different shimmer effects that I was getting from the butterflies and those iridescent um, foil pieces that I put on the nails and here I'm just going back over trying to refine that um, ombre you know gotta practice my, my craft y'all I'm not the best at ombres but I did what I could with what I had and I am getting better so I'm actually pretty proud of myself so I'm just gonna get this into the lamp for a final 60 second cure after I apply two coats of this IBD gel to all of the nails. Now that that's all done, it is time to remove that tacky layer and get to shaping and filing. Yes, I'm gonna shape and file these nails and buff them over because there is inconsistencies with the glitter and lumps and bumps from all of the gel that I've been applying. So once I get that all done, we're gonna come back with getting those two fingers done with the beautiful butterfly and for me to explain to y'all what I did wrong during this process. These nails felt really strong, you guys. So I feel like if when I glue these on, if I ever do glue, glue them on to wear them on a weekend, that I won't have any issues with them breaking or anything like that. So um, that's one thing to keep in mind. Um, whether you're doing it with acrylic or with gel, you're gonna get pretty strong nails because you're applying extra product to you know these jelly tips and so on and so forth so yeah I do I do like them they're cute I think they're cute so moving on to applying these butterfly stickers so my intentions were to get the butterflies on there and leave some hollow spaces in there so you guys are gonna see me plucking away at these in a second one thing you can do before adhering your art is add primer to the nails after you file shaped and buffed i've learned that from young nail school i see them do that very often um but that is not the issue here that's not <laughs> that's not what i did wrong here um y'all i took the time i made all these hollow spots in this butterfly and when it was time to fill this butterfly in i was ready you know i was all the way ready I got all my glow mixes, all the colors that I use, and I filled this butterfly in, and I went on and cured it and everything. But the problem is, when I got ready to edit this video, I realized everything that I did after this point was not recorded. I don't know if I got a phone call on my phone, a text message, what, I have no clue. But none of that stuff was recorded, so I'm gonna explain to you guys what I did now all of those little hollow spots that you guys see there I took my time and I picked out different colors on purpose and I just filled in those hollow pieces with the glow um, the glow mix gels so y'all will see that 
in the end when I take the picture you'll kind of see the outline of the butterfly that was my intention was to see the outline of the butterfly by looking at those spots that were glowing in the dark if you kind of understand what I'm saying but yeah I just took my time and went in with a detailing brush a striping brush and just dipped it into that gel and put it into the spaces that I wanted it to be in and yes this is what we're looking at right now so y'all are gonna see the video just drum to, to me top coating and it is because I was not filming and I cried literally cried when I realized that so it's time for two thin layers of top coat and then we're gonna get back to seeing the final results of this glow-in-the-dark butterfly set You guys see what I mean by the filled in spots of the butterfly like y'all can see some dark pink spots and some little lighter spots it's all filled in so it has like this raised effect on it so um, one thing I noticed though like y'all tell me but after top coating these nails and it could be because I did an ombre like I felt like my nails wasn't getting charged enough so I had to go over the top of me already top coating with more of my my gels or either I need to add more to the gel pots that I mix to make sure that it has that full effect of um, the glow in the dark when it's charged up but I'm about to model this for you guys make sure y'all let me know in the description I'm getting a text message so I'm gonna pop back in just a second so this phone don't keep buzzing on y'all and this is what it looks like after adding some cuticle oil to my little dry cuticles. This set is so bomb. I like how that ombre is covering up my nail bed a little bit so it doesn't look so like crazy underneath. I really love that nude color. I'm waiting to get some darker colors in the mail so look out for a video on that. Don't mind me wearing a butterfly on the wrong finger on the other hand. That was on purpose because I picked up the wrong tip and started working on it before I realized it. But this set was so beautiful. Don't forget that this is a collaboration. So check out my girl Tomi at Pick You Color Nail Channel. Don't forget to like, comment, share, subscribe. If you're new, welcome. And you guys, as always, I'll most definitely talk to y'all in my next one. Bye.